The lavishly produced drama The Dig, starring Ralph Fiennes and Kerry Mulligan, is currently streaming on Netflix and featured the unearthing of an Anglo-Saxon boat burial and the iconic Sutton Hoo helmet in 1939. Sue Brunning, curator of early medieval European collections at the British Museum, said the grave made in Suffolk in the early 7th century centred on a 27 metre long ship beneath a 3 metre high mound. Inside was a vast assemblage of exquisite objects from an incredible geographical range spanning Britain, Europe, the Eastern Mediterranean, the Middle East and South Asia. Nothing like this had ever been encountered before and it transformed our understanding of England's early medieval past. Landowner Edith Pretty, played by Mulligan, donated the Sutton Hoo finds, which were unearthed by archaeologist Basil Brown, portrayed by Fines, to the British Museum in an act of what the curator described as unparalleled generosity. The finds revealed much of what we now know of the pre-Christian pagan Anglo-Saxons and the magnificent helmet, thought to actually be a king's crown, tells us something of their religious beliefs. The Anglo-Saxons worshipped the same gods as the Norse, but with different names. Woden is Odin, Thunor is Thor, Tyr is Tyr, and they also worshipped Frigga, who is congruent with the Norse deity Freya. And it is also thought that Odin, or his Saxon equivalent, Woden, was etched onto the Sutton Hoo helmet. Four apparently horned spear dancers were positioned above the eyebrows on the highly symbolic decorative headwear, these figures are thought to represent Woden, and the horns on his head are actually two birds meeting beak to beak. These birds are possibly a representation of Odin, or Woden's ravens, Hugin and Munin, translation thought and memory, which fly all over the world, Midgard, and return to Odin to feed him intelligence and information. The figures on the Sutton Hoo helmet are remarkably similar to one shown on the Torslunda plates from Vendelira, Sweden, which show a weapon-dancing bird-horned figure next to a bear-skinned berserker. This serves to highlight the similarities of the Saxons and Norse in terms of their religious symbolism and beliefs before the former converted to Christianity. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.